Killer Mike has made it clear that he won't stand for people lying on his name when it comes to his politics. The Grammy-winning rapper stopped by The View on Monday, February 12, where he was grilled about his support of the GOP governor, Brian Kemp, by host Sonny Hostin. Hostin said the run that Jewel's rapper lost her when he showed support for Kemp, who defeated Stacey Abrams in the election, but the Michael rapper made clear that he wasn't standing for what he viewed as a false narrative about his politics. Not support of Kemp, he said. That's some misinformation. You can not like me, but don't lie on me. He continued, he's the governor of my state, I have to be involved with him. I can't divorce myself. But let me say this, if you criticize someone, don't lie. Don't say I didn't support, Stacey, Abrams, because I did. Don't say I don't support Democrats because I've helped get three Democratic mayors elected, two state representatives elected, but if someone is in the king's seat, I'm not going to not have dinner with the king on behalf of my people. I have to do that. The comments about Kemp began at the 7-minute mark. HHDX YouTube video player, play button killer Mike The View. This isn't the first time that Killer Mike has come under fire for his perceived support of the governor. Back in September 2020, Kemp shared photos of a sit-down he'd had with the rapper and said they'd discussed human trafficking in Georgia and how the COVID-19 pandemic had affected small businesses and the music industry. Today, Marty and I had a great meeting with that Killer Mike, he wrote. We discussed how small businesses and the music industry are weathering the pandemic, the value of our skilled trade workers, and our fight to end human trafficking in Georgia. We look forward to seeing him again soon. The Run the Jewels rapper was quickly met with criticism for his decision to meet with Kemp, but he defended himself, responding to dozens of tweets. After I sought counsel from community activists that I know and have worked with over 20 years, black judges and lawyers, black biz leaders and my neighbors I absolutely did, Mike said to one critic when asked if he'd met with Kemp for his community. Absolutely, Mike said in response to another who incredulously asked if he'd really met with him. I pay taxes in Georgia and own business there. I'm checking up on my dollars at work. I also meet with my city council member, state rep and mayor. I suggest all Georgians do the